Hello everyone, my name is Mohamed Radwan, I'm a Visual Studio LM MVP and DevOps Practice Lead. In this video I'm going to show you how to migrate or import Git repository from VSTS account or project to another VSTS account or project. We will be using a new feature in VSTS which is import feature. So let's see that. Okay, so this is the project I'm going to migrate its repository. So I will migrate VSALM repository. So let's look at the history. This is the history so far. So let me open the target project. So I can migrate or import that to another account or another repository on the same account or in the same project. So I will go here for the code and again I can import directly to this repository or I can create a new repository. If I want to import to this repository I just click on import then I boot here but before that I need a personal access token so let's have a personal access token first let me open again a new link get the personal access token so going to security and here I will add a personal access token this is just to migrate yes all This is the time I will revoke this after the video so no one can use it. <laughs> so once I have that, I come here and then just importing that, and I would use the personal access token here, the source for the git, which is this would be this one. start to put it here and migrate or, Im or import that one so again this will start to migrate the source code and if the project has a long history you don't need to monitor or review the progress of that you can just get back and continue on your working and then when it's finished you will get a notification by email that tell you about the migration or the import status for that so you don't need to do that so if we go now for this project and we see the history we can see we got all the history and of course I should and I will revoke this one so now we can use this personal access token Thanks for watching the video. Please, if you have any question, uh, just visit my blog, muhammadradwan.com, and leave your questions, and I will try to get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you.